Breaking news, former President Donald Trump returning to New Jersey overnight, hours after an assassination during a rally. Trump says he was shot in the ear during the event in Butler, Pennsylvania. It sounded like there were fireworks, and everybody kind of hesitated, like, what's happening before Trump, like, swatted his ear. Overnight, authorities identified the gunman, a registered Republican who shot from a rooftop near the rally venue. The gunman and at least one audience member are dead. Two other attendees are critically hurt. We have team coverage from the investigation, reaction, and political fallout. Let's get right to Josh Einiger, who starts things off for us from Butler, Pennsylvania. And Josh, you have some new information for us at this hour. Yeah, Pedro, we actually have brand new information just in the last couple of minutes that's fascinating about what was going on just before the shooting. But first, I just want to set the scene for you. This is a really small rural farm community. It's just starting to wake up now. It's around 9.30 on a Sunday morning. A lot of people who were at the rally yesterday, people who just wanted to come see, are coming out and congregating. But they can't go any farther than that road close, that roadblock, because this is where the fairground is that they're pouring over right now as they try to figure out a motivation for this assassination attempt of Donald Trump. But again, to this new information, ABC News is now reporting, uh, according to the, the sheriff of this county, it's Butler County here in Pennsylvania, the, the local sheriff telling ABC News, and we had been hearing that some uh, attendees had been, had seen this man with the gun climbing on top of that, that building where he ended up uh, launching the attack. Now, the sheriff is telling ABC News that a local police officer uh, attempted to stop this uh, suspect, vaulted himself up on the roof, and then at that point the shooter turned and aimed at the police officer. This is according to the sheriff. The police officer then let go of the building. He was climbing onto the roof, fell down and was injured. And that was really the only attempt at defense as far as we know against this attack. The shooter then turned around and started uh, shooting. Uh, he fired eight shots. Uh, he grazed the ear of the former president. He hit three civilians, one of them fatally, two of them with critical injuries before a Secret Service counter sniper team ended up taking out the shooter. The FBI had a briefing about all of this late last night. We had what we're calling an assassination attempt against our former president, Donald Trump. It's still an active crime scene. As I mentioned, we have a number of agents on scene. We also are working closely with other federal agencies, our state partners, and our local police partners as well. Another crime scene has taken shape about 45 miles south of here in the Pittsburgh suburbs at the home of 20-year-old suspected shooter Thomas Matthew Crooks. Uh, federal agents right now going through scouring that person's home, social media, as they try to figure out a motivation for the registered Republican to attempt to kill the former president of the United States. Back live here in Butler Township, Pennsylvania, a very large police presence. Still, we saw state police helicopter hovering very low over the scene. Lots of federal resources coming in here to make sure, first of all, that the threat is for sure over, but also as they try to get to the bottom of the motivation here and what what led this suspect to take this action yesterday. We're live in Butler, Pennsylvania this morning. Josh Heinegger, Channel 7, Eyewitness News.